Trump's been found guilty in all 34 counts. Now, you know, it's probably rigged and all this stuff, but even if he did commit crimes, I think we're forgetting, because all, all the wokes, all the leftists are sitting there going, look, you're voting for a convicted felon. And I'm sitting here thinking, well, even if Trump is guilty, even if he is a convicted felon, this is not Mr. Knight. This is, they're not, President Biden and Trump are not running on who's the best person, who's got the least who's got the least criminal charges. They're not, it's not a contest for Mr. Nice Guy. Okay, you know what I'm saying? It's like that's not what the con that's not what the contest is. They're running for president. You're not voting for the nicest guy. You're not voting for the you know, the person with the least amount of federal charges or whatever. You're voting for who's the best president. And now I think a very good me way to measure this is, you know, they've both been presidents now. Biden's been president for about three and a bit years. Trump's been pre Trump's been president before for four years. Who did better? I don't think we should be listening to what they say. Oh well, he's a bad he's a bad person. He's a pedophile. It should just be like, okay, who did a better job as president, Trump or Biden? And it's pretty evident if you go if you go to just that, you can find out pretty easily it's Trump. So I mean, you can sit here and argue, oh, Biden sniffs kids, Trump's committing federal crimes and all this stuff, tax fraud. It doesn't matter who who's the better president. Okay, Trump. And that's the case for Trump 2024. You can sit there and say, well, his social media, his mean tweets, he did this thing, he did this thing. Sit there name calling, oh, we're, we're bad person, good person, whatever. Who's the better president? Trump. There it is. Trump 2024.